and keyless has done it again this brand just keeps wowing us just awesome wow wow <laughs> hey guys been here i'm april i'm making it because yeah, what was that? Hey guys, if you're new here, I'm April. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist. I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end, and all things skincare. So if you're interested in all of that, definitely hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe to this channel. Join the family. Join the family. Join the family. We're here every week, every week, talking about skincare, giving you the latest scoop on skincare. You feel me? let's get into the video all right this is gonna be a really quick video talking about the new inculus succinic acid i kind of wasn't sure if i wanted to do this video or not i already did a tiktok on it if you don't follow me on tiktok just follow me i literally live on tiktok now i'm not very proud of it i feel like i'm a wannabe gen zer but you know what that's where the young kids are. I need these kids to believe in skincare. I need these kids, if they're gonna get information, to get it from a professional. You know what I mean? So, find me on TikTok at April Bassi. I'm on there every day <laughs> talking about skincare. Okay, let's get into the video now. Okay, so succinic acids. This one is claiming to reduce blemishes and redness in 24 hours. That's a huge claim. Apparently made from chlorophyll. That's why it has a green color. And depending on you know, when the chlorophyll is harvested, it will determine the color. It's retailing for $8.99, which is not a terrible price. It claims it clears blemishes fast, reduces inflammation, and prevents club pores. Sounds like niacinamide, but like a quick little brother of niacinamide. I don't know. These brands, these claims, they, they be, they're both. Bold, man they're they're bold <laughs> the FDA probably needs to start taking a closer look at skincare because the way skincare is going it's it scares me you know it scares me because it's not really regulated except you know there's like an adverse reaction by like a, you know a huge subgroup of people but it scares me the way that skincare is going because people just can claim whatever you know especially when it's not like a product or ingredient that's really regulated by the FDA they can just claim something and people will just believe it you know it's just I, I don't mind makeup being like like fast fashion or clothing being ubiquitous but like when skincare starts becoming ubiquitous it's a bit of a problem anyway let's keep talking about sustenic acid so this product has 2% sustenic acid which helps to reduce blemish size reduce oil levels and unblock pores honestly sounds like very much like niacinamide, like I said, like a fast little brother. It also has 1% salicylic acid, which we know helps to unclog pores to prevent acne or acneic cells from forming. So basically, it sounds like niacinamide and salicylic acid in a bottle to me. Honestly, I don't, I don't see a difference. So if you have a product that has both of those ingredients, just keep using it. I wouldn't switch to this product. I think this is a, a product that's just, it's a fast product that's probably not, not going to stand the test of time so yeah that, that's my opinion on this product i like the idea i like the idea but i just it's definitely not something i think i'm wowed by you know what i mean but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video just a real quick video talking about this one ingredient or product i mean sorry um i hope you enjoyed it like this video subscribe join the family help your girl out as always um leave a comment if you have a question about anything and i will be sure to answer it i'll see you guys in the next one bye you love